What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Guys, we're headed up to the lake today. We're going up to the river, actually. We're going to the Hiawassee River, Chickamauga Lake, and we're going to do some night fishing for some just whatever bites. We're going to go hit docks. I really like doing this in the summertime, especially when I'm real busy and it's been so hot outside. This is awesome. We just go chill, find docks with lights, and anything and everything you can think of when it comes to fish or sitting on those lots. I mean, you can catch bluegill, crappie, white bass, largemouth bass, uh, walleye. I mean, there's a ton of different stuff, skipjack and all kinds of stuff. It's just a fun way of fishing. It's a lot cooler. You don't have to really worry about the heat and getting sunburnt and all that good stuff. I don't know. It's just, it's just a lot of fun, guys. It's a lot of fun to do in the summertime. I love doing it. So y'all guys stick tuned, stick tuned, <laughs> stay tuned, guys and stick with me and let's go do some night fishing guys i'm gonna try to use as much light as i can it should be interesting we're gonna catch a lot of fish i know i will so i appreciate y'all for watching let's go let's go to the lake it's gonna take me a while to get there but we going all right guys we made it down here to the lake we're at the marina still we still got about about an hour and a half almost two hours a lot so i'm gonna go try to catch some bass so let's go guys let's run over here and do some bass fishing get out of the marina run down the lake Let's go. What's pretty around here? Look at that. All right, guys, we made it to our first spot. We're gonna work down this bank. We got about an hour or so before it gets dark. And we're going, first we're gonna fish for some bass until it gets dark. But the main reason I came out here is to fish the docks because at night in the summertime, the docks are loaded with fish. I mean, you can find any kind of fish you can think of, really. There's all kinds of predatory fish hanging around those lights. Due to the fact that there's two reasons. One, the lights attract tons of bugs and mayflies that hatch in the afternoon and stuff like that. They all congregate around the lights and the panfish and stuff come up and eat those bugs. And two, light at night attracts phytoplankton in lakes and in rivers. So when that phytoplankton comes to that light, that's what attracts. See, a lot of people think that light just attracts fish. No, that's not true. It's actually the phytoplankton get attracted by the light and then thus brings in the bait fish and the bait fish come in to eat the phytoplankton and then the predatory fish move in to eat the shad and stuff. So. That's going to happen here in a little bit. We'll talk about that more as it gets dark, but we'll talk about that later. I'm going to go out, or I'm going to run down this bank, do some bass fishing, see if we can't catch a bass or two. It would be awesome before it gets dark. And uh, that's what we're going to do, guys. So let's just let's just get at it. I brought my big net tonight because you never know what you're going to get out here at night. You never know. Damn, look at this plane. Look at that. It's cool. Way looks way closer to me than it does y'all. Look at that. Whoa. That thing is so close. Even the boaters over there stopped. Look at it. Well, that was crazy. Uh oh, here comes the gigantic wakes that I love so much. Well, guys, it ain't got no bass yet. I've been fishing, but I ain't got no bass. I'm just been slowly working this bank. It's fishing. Switched around a few different things, but now I'm fishing a worm. The thing is with these docks, especially the docks, I mean, all docks in the summer hold fish. I mean, they just do. Unless they're like ridiculously shallow or something. But what I'm trying to say is these lit up docks that where the lights hanging right over the water, they have like residential fish. 
And those residential fish, they're there all the time. They like because they're waiting for the nighttime when all the bait fish and everything. So they're just hanging out there constantly. I hate when wave runners come like right at you. I was changing that wave runner like come like I will thump him with a jig. I'm gonna tell you right now, you get hit in the head with a jig on a wave runner, it's gonna hurt real bad. Because I don't give a crap about your wave runner. Like I don't care nothing. I don't care how much it costs or how cool you think you are on it. Have a good time, but do it away from me. If you're on a wave runner and you fish, don't mess with people on butt, which I already know that. But it's like People on boats that are fishing do not care about your wave runner. <laughs> like, period. I've owned wave runners. People don't care. I do not care about them. <laughs> wave runners are one of those things that, like, you only feel cool when you're on it. Everyone else that's observing you on the wave runner, you look like everyone else on a wave. <laughs> like, you just look like you're riding around. But what I'm going to be throwing tonight, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all, is little, you know, little crappie jigs little swim baits like this all white I like working a lot it does really well white does a lot of people use black black works really well at night too but white does too white works better at night than you think it does work well well guys we completely failed at catching a bass before the sun goes down we're gonna chill for a minute I'm gonna get my light set up get my headlamp Get everything put together, and we're going to wait for that sun to go down, and then we're going to get on these dogs, man. We're going to catch some fish. So y'all guys stay tuned. Stick around. We're about to catch some fish. I think what I'm going to do, guys, I'm not just going to sit around these dogs, the lit up dogs. I think I'm going to run down here, see if I can't catch some crappie around this one dog. Just out of curiosity. See if there's anything around there, and then I'll run back down this way. Once it gets dark, because I'm going to just sit here. All right, guys, let's run down this way. There we go, guys. First crappie. This color's kind of wonky, really, but caught a crappie. We're just waiting for it to get dark. Seems like it's taking forever to get dark. He's got a scar on him. He's been messed up before. Let's keep fishing, though. This dock always has crappie under it. So no matter what time of year I come out here, there's crappie. crappie fun little guy though you hit it hard little bitty crappie under here not anything super big but it's fun nonetheless little crappie oh that's a good one that's a good one like that's the best one yet Pretty good little crappie. He's an eater, I do believe. I believe he may keep. Maybe a little short. I think he might be a little short, but I'm not sure. 
pretty crappie. I don't know, keep any. Let him go. Well, guys, we've got a few crappie over here. It's starting to get dark. I'm going to bass fish around here a little bit. And then we're going to shoot back over to the other place. But we were able to catch, what, four or five crappie? Not so bad. Put some fish in the boat. But we're about to hopefully catch some bigger fish. I don't know what we'll catch tonight. Might only catch more crappie. I don't know. Who knows? It's a gamble. We never know. Here we go for a fish of the night, guys. Something good. Something real good. What we got? Skipjack. Big old skipjack. Good lord, that's a big one. Look at that big skipjack, guys. God, it's a gigantic skipjack. Had a cooler to keep these for catfish bait. Look at that thing. Let me try to tone this down. Maybe that's better. Big old skipjack. Dang, look at that thing. Is he alive? Yep, he left. I'm trying to make sure I can film this good. Big old skipjack. Should have cooler to kept that thing. There's a lot of catfish bait. There's a good one. Ooh. I don't know what it is, but we'll have to find out. It's fun, a little different. Might be a white bass. Yeah. Big old white bass. Well, he's not too big. Nice white bass, though. We got some wakes coming in. Big old wakes. Nice looking white bass. Not bad at all. He's right by the light over here. Nice little white bass. Let's let him go. So far, we got two fish. Two randoms. We got a white bass and a... So far, guys, we got a skipjack and a, and a nice little white bass. There's one. Oh, that's a good one. What is that? This spot is a lot different. What we got? A skipjack. Now we got a walla. Walla, a little walla. He ain't big enough to keep her. I'd keep him. Walla are delicious. One thing you gotta be careful with these walla is they have some sharp teeth. Look at those teeth. Ooh, no sticking your finger in there. Beautiful fish though. Little guy, let's let him go. See you, buddy. Three fish, three different species. And the humidity went up 20%. As that sun went down, I don't know why, but whew, it, is, it is sweaty out here. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. That for you, he's big. Moving an old boat. It's a big white bass or big. Oh, what is that? Oh, I think it's a big walla. Nicer walla. Nicer walla. There we go. That's a good walla. 
There we go, guys. It's on a bad legal mile. I don't think it's a legal size, though. Keep it. Pretty walleye. Look at him. I don't think he's legal though. Mosquitoes are getting me. Well guys, we got several fish. Several mosquitoes. I don't think he would have kept. I can't remember what the length is on them, so if they're not a little bit bigger, I know like I'm not sure. We'll just let them go tonight. But man, walleye are amazing to eat. If you've never had them, they're super good. Best freshwater fish. It's my favorite fish of everything. I mean, anything I've ever ate. Mala is the best. It's literally the chicken of the freshwater fish. I tell you that. It's amazing. Super good. There's one. There we go, guys. Another one. Moved a little bit. I was back further away and I moved closer. What we got? Little white bass. Another little white bass. Ain't super big, but ain't bad. Another white bass, guys. Let's look at it. Pretty little fish. White bass. Fish in the docks. Fish in the light on the docks. Catching fish, guys. Oh, there's a good one. That's a good one out there. That's better than that other one. Is that a walleye? Yeah, that's a good walleye. Oh, another walleye. Oh, let's see. Get him up in here. Man, I think that's a keeper. Got another one. one earlier was a keeper. Man, these are good eating. Can't remember the regulations on these though. I'd say that's a keeper though. But we'll let him go tonight, man. I've let a lot of good meat. But I can't remember. Dang, he went in there like a, like a... That was like an Olympic dive. He went in there without even hardly splashing. Um, I can't remember the regulations on those walleye. So, I'm going to keep them. I know, like, if they're certain... I mean, I'll kind of know if it's big enough. Those are kind of, like, in that zone where I'm not quite sure. So, I don't have phone service. I don't think. Yeah, I do. Hold up. Let me see. Dang it, I could be keeping those. They're only 50, it's only 15 inches. Those are off, but most all of those are 15 inches. If I not catch a few more of those, I'm gonna keep them because man, they're so good to eat. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a good one. That's a white bass. Dang, I wish I'd have kept those wall off from earlier. Here's another walleye. Oh, he come off. Dang, I've caught a, quite a few walleye tonight. There he is. I'd say it'd be real fun to catch a few white bass on this old July. <laughs> so much fun. That's a good fish. You gotta be a white bass. Think it's a walleye or anything else that would have whoop me. Get up and, oh, I might break my rod for this guy. Nice wild bass. Man, that's a good one. Relax, buddy. Oh. Always do that. Ow. Ow, he got me. Beautiful big wild bass. Look at that thing. Big. Good one. I think that's the best one tonight so far. He stuck me. Little bugger. He got me. Oh, there's one. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure though. It might be like a. What is that? Actually, it feels like a pretty good fish. I'm on the ultra line. That's another wild bass. Oh, 
Another white bass. Oh, he's fighting. Oh, that's a good white bass. He's running at me at first. This might be the biggest one right here. That's a good one. Oh, he broke. I think he's going to break. Look at that white bass. I'm throwing him back in. He's nasty. There's one. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's pull and drag on the bigger rod. That's a good one. Big walleye. Big walleye. Nice walleye. I might just have to keep this one. This one definitely 15 inches. Beautiful big walleye. I'm gonna throw him in the in the live well, guys. I'm gonna keep at least one, two of these guys because they're just oh, they make they're so good. They're delicious. Oh. There he is. Oh, he broke me off. That was a good one. That's the last of my jig heads. Like that, the white ones. Man, that was good. All right, guys, I'm gonna dig out another jig head. There it is. There's the fish. Ooh, what we got here? A strong. Another walleye. On about like a walleye. It's a pretty good one too. Let's see how big this one is. I don't think we're gonna keep this one. He might would do 15 inches, but I'm not gonna keep him. He's kind of skinny. He's not skinny, but I don't keep any one. This one's a little small. I'll go a little bigger. Man, we've been on the walleye tonight. Caught quite a few walleye. It's been a good night, actually. Strong. Whatever it is. It's weak when it was jumping. Oh, what's a skip jack? <laughs> Big old skip. Big old skippy jack. He might break us. Let's get in there. Big old crazy skip jack. That's the second skip jack of the night. That's what's up there busting. Oh, that fish might be dead. <laughs> Big old skipjack. He's all over the place. Let him go. Crazy. He might die. I don't know. He may live. Alright guys, we ran over to another spot. People were fishing this for a while, so I don't know how it's going to be. But the thing is, a lot of times people fish totally different ways. So just because it's had people on it, don't mean there's a lot, a lot of fish to catch. Because these guys just left about 15 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago or so. 10 or 15. We got a little white bass. I just pulled up. First cast, first fish. Nice wild bass. Oh man, he's meaner than, meaner than a rattlesnake. He ain't that mean though. I've met meaner. Pretty little wild bass though. Look at that guy. That works better, I think. Pretty wild bass. Let's let him go. Let's catch another one. I'm just sitting back here. We need to get up. It's getting late, guys. But I'm gonna keep fishing. Good one. There's literally those guys just left here. Good fish. Whatever it is, it's good. God, it's strong. What is this? It's like 
gonna just be a big, no, it's another walleye. Got him on the walleye tonight. Just looking at it. Oh my God, move up here. I might get this one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's another good one. Heck yeah, guys. Tonight's been a walleye night. For sure. Oh, that's another good wall. I'm definitely keeping that guy. Look at that wall. Oh, man, that's a good one. Let's just throw him in the pond. But yeah, just because someone's in the spot don't mean they got off the fish. They might not know something that you know. One thing I noticed that they were doing that I don't do is they were fishing in the dark, fishing the light. I like to sit on the side of the light. Well, the light is, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to have to close this light. I like to sit on the side of the light and fish into the dark going into the light. So, a lot of your big predatory fish are in the dark part. And a lot of times they'll follow your lure until it hits the light. They see it, bah, 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 you know, and then they just, bow, smack it. Yes, that's a good one. Oh, that's another good one. Oh lordy, that's a fighter. What is that? Maybe another walleye. Feels like a walleye. Might be a wild bass. Don't know. It's a wild bass. Fighting white bass. Man, that guy's strong. Big old wiper. Oh, come on, buddy. Set still. Just chill for old bass and grass. Hang out with him. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. Another beautiful white bass. Let's let him go. See you, buddy. See you, buddy. See you, buddy. In order to do this fish, you gotta stay out lake and you gotta find light. Light on the lake, light on the river. As fall kicks in, you'll start getting a lot of crappie out in these areas. It gets cooler at night, but you can get a bunch of big crappie out here. I mean, it's crazy. Oh, this one. Ooh, that's a skipjack. He spit me. Big old skipjack. Well, guys, I'm gonna call it here real soon. I got a long drive ahead of me and it's getting late. I could stay out for many more hours. Catch a ton more fish, but my arm is wore out. I've been whipping them tonight. I've caught a lot of fish. I don't even know if I put them all in the video. They're digging. Good. That thing hit like a turn. That's another skipjack. That thing hit so hard. That's all they call them Tennessee tarpon out there. Those things just hit like bees sometimes. Oh, is that a walla? No, it's a. Is it? I'm confused. Don't know what that is. No, it's a big old skipjack. Damn, that's a big one. That's a monster skipjack. It come right off when he got in there. Man, look at the size of that thing. God, that's a big one. That is a mondo. Look at that thing. That's catfish bait heaven right there. Man, that's a strong skipjack. Big one. God, get out of here. Big old strong guy. Wearing me out. Big old strong skipjack. We ain't got no bass tonight, but we've got some good tasting walleye. I caught a bunch of them. I should have kept those other ones, but I got plenty for myself. Was, oh my. Whoa. Whatever that was, was huge. I wish my drag was a little looser. That was a monster. Holy moly. Alright guys, well after losing that fish, I think I'm going to call it a night. 
I lost it. I put on another swim bait, threw it out there. I didn't get anything. I don't know if the bots kind of died or I don't know if it was just the swim bait that was doing so well or not. But regardless, it is late. It's almost midnight and I'm tired and I'm ready to go home. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it's hard with the low light, but hopefully you all learned something. If you didn't learn anything, hopefully you had a good time watching it. I appreciate you all for watching these videos. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And all, as always, I'll see y'all guys later. Y'all guys, take it easy. Go out and go fish some dogs. I'll see you guys.